ever, ever, ever want to go up to somebody and come off as desperate. You don't want to come off as, oh, hey, can I, I saw that you do this. Can you help me do this? No, no. A lot of y'all mess up doing that. I'm a bossy girl, just I a. LA and my pockets pay. Boss bay and my bag okay. okay. I'ma make that money every day. Get it every day. Got my bag up, pick some boss stuff. Yes, pockets pay, LA, boy, what's up? What is up, boss bays? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. It's been a while. So I just want to thank you guys for sticking around and not leaving me and unsubscribing because I've been completely MIA. I appreciate you. A lot of you always ask me, y'all already know, I got a notebook. Now when I got the notebook, we mean business, okay? A lot of y'all always asking me, how do you network properly? How do you walk into a room knowing you daddy and having the confidence to talk about your business like it's your first love, right? Today I'm gonna give y'all some tips. Okay, so you already know we coming through with the gems. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up for your girl, please, and thank you. And I just want to say I appreciate you guys once again. If you do not know, please know it. Like, seriously, I love y'all, okay? 2020 is going to be an amazing year for all of us. I'm going up, 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 and I'm bringing y'all with me. I promise, okay? So let's get into the video. Y'all already know if I'm looking down, I'm looking at the notebook, trying to make sure I stay on key and I stay on points. Alrighty? So the first thing, you guys, why is networking important? Networking is extremely important because the connections that you need are not going to break into your house. They're not going to magically know that you exist. You're not going to be put in a position to where you're building your network of people unless you get out, okay? That means get off of Instagram, okay? All right, so of course you should always be networking on Instagram, but boo-boo, you have to get off Instagram as well. There's some dope people you can meet just by introducing yourself and what you do, what you sell, okay? You just never know. I have met some incredible people just randomly on um, conversation because I'm passionate about what I'm doing and I'm always talking about it, right? So, you got to get out the house, sis. You got to get out the house. If you're an introvert, you need to break that. You're only going to get so far if you don't get out the house, okay? The first thing I want to cover is how do you find events, right? Like, how do you even know where to go? Like, so this, okay, I want to network. I'm good. I'm an extrovert. I'm friendly. But how do I know where to go? You have to always be on the lookout, y'all. Actively always looking out for events. You have to go on Eventbrite. Y'all know I love Eventbrite. That's like my number one search engine when I travel. If I go to a new city and I'm like, hmm, I'm here on vacay, but let's try to get some business in too, you know what I'm saying? Where do I go? Eventbrite. All you have to do is literally type in what city you're in and what you're interested in. I always type in business or um, seminar or networking. Okay, you're going to find something that you're looking for. Trust me, all right? So now when you are at these events, you guys, you have to network. Because what you want to do, trade information with people. Because if you're at an event or if you're at a seminar, I can guarantee you those type of people are always at those type of events too. All right? Now, before we get into how to exactly position yourself and talk to these people, which I'm going to give y'all some tips on what I do. Because <laughs> look, when I go, I don't be playing no games. All right? Funny story. I met one of my good friends. We are good friends now. I met her in New York. I went to New York alone. Alone for the very first time, y'all. Went to New York for an event I was on a panel for. Well, I wasn't on a panel. I did some promo for them, and they put me on a flyer, okay? So you guys may have remembered that because I did a giveaway for two people to come and get some tickets for Envision. It was Envision Fest in New York. This was the summer of 2019, right? So I'm networking, honey. I'm in New York. I'm definitely networking out here. I didn't come out here for nothing, right? So I met a girl. I met some dope girls, some dope women, actually. Not girls. They're women. But one, in, me and this one girl really, really just always kept in contact, okay? She was there working the event. She lives in Canada. This is my homegirl, Alicia. Love you. So we met in New York. Listen, y'all, we have been to Detroit. We went to Detroit together for another event, which was Forbes, which was amazing. She invited me out to that. If I did not go to New York, okay, because I'm all about networking, I'm all about collaboration over competition, y'all know this. If I didn't go to New York by myself, if I would have waited on someone to make this move, I would have never met my friend Alicia. 
I would have never went to the Forbes event. You get what I'm saying? She wouldn't be coming to Houston to kick it with me for Mardi Gras, right? And she lives in Canada. So here I am, a girl from St. Louis, living in Houston with friends now in Canada. Do Are y'all following me? This is the importance of networking, okay? So we went to the Forbes event, made connections from the Forbes event. I made a great connection with a woman named Molly. She lives in Alaska. I need y'all to follow me now. She lives in Alaska, okay? She has a cookie business that's infused with vodka very well, doing very well, being wholesaled in so many different grocery stores, right? Connections. Connections. So now if I go to Alaska, I'm good. If I go to Canada, I'm good. Never been to either place, but now I have friends in those places, all right? This is the power of networking, you guys, okay? So now, Eventbrite, awesome events, but because when, you, when you're actually at these events, you want to be following up with these people because guess what they're going to do? They're going to put you on to different events that may not even be on Eventbrite. I would have never known that I could go to a Forbes event if it wasn't for Alicia. All right? So I went to New York. I networked with different women, made a dope connection with one particular woman, and she invited me to a Forbes event to where I made new connections at the Forbes event from my friends now in Alaska. Are y'all following me? Keep up now. This is the power and this is the importance of putting yourself out there and networking. That's why I don't matter. It doesn't matter if I go, if, if I have a bad experience at an event, I'm, I'm not going to let that deter me from putting myself out there. No, because I know there's going to be one event that could change your life. All right. So again, Eventbrite, following up with people at these events because they're going to tell you about more events. Because if you're the type of person to go to an event, those type of people do too. Okay, on the regular, I must say. All right, now, also, you guys, one of the key ways that I find out about some super, super dope events is through Instagram. A lot of women that I follow are millionaires, you know, I'm inspired by them, their motivation for me, and they attend conferences, they attend seminars, and they post about them. So, I always try to make sure that I'm in that room. One of my favorite people ever, you guys should know, is Karen Civil. Karen Civil, y'all, this, this, this is really deep. Flew out to L.A. to go to BeautyCon last summer. Karen Civil personally invited me to James Harden's private brunch. I don't know if you guys saw that vlog, right? That would have never happened. I would have never been granted the opportunity to go to a James Harden private brunch if I didn't take the leap and go to L.A., and network are y'all following me okay all right now the reason i knew about beauty kind was instagram karen civil always at a different event in a different city honey i make sure if i'm if i can know and that's another y'all so crazy that's one of the reasons i actually went to new york because karen was on the panel okay so finding out about these events and these conferences through people you follow and you would look you look up to them you admire them you need to be in the same room as them okay are y'all following me instagram is such an amazing tool if you're paying attention investing in things like this right so it's a few events that's coming up that i'm making sure that i'm going to be there one of them is essence fest in new orleans in july i'm not missing essence i'm in houston I'm not missing Essence. Houston, New Orleans is right there. I'm not missing Essence. A whole room full of ambitious, strong women that's nine times out of ten doing the same thing as me. Or we can help each other be great. I'm not missing Essence, okay? Another lady. She's the um, founder of um, founder of Main Choice, Courtney Williams. I think that's her last name. I'm not sure. She does the Boss Talk Conference every year in Florida. I'm not missing that. She has a hundred million dollar brand that's in every beauty supply store you go to. I'm not missing that. There's damn sure something she can teach me. I'm not missing that. You get what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Make sure you guys check out the description box because I have tons of new ebooks, new workbooks, new business tools that's going to make you tons of money in your business in the description box, okay? So check that out, all right? Now let's get back into the video. <laughs> you guys have to make sure that you're putting yourself in these rooms. And yes, sometimes the cost may be up there. But is it, if it's important to you, if you're trying to build a bond with like-minded women, you have to put yourself in those rooms. They ain't breaking into your houses. They not. They not doing it. Okay? You need to make, you need to let them know, listen, I'm taking this serious. I'm a businesswoman. 
Just like you're a businesswoman, I'm a businesswoman. I flew out here because this is something I take serious. Let them know, okay? So that's the way I personally find events to go to Eventbrite. When I go to Eventbrite, I network with people. I talk to them. I exchange my information. I say, listen, if I see an event coming up, I'm going to let you know, and you do the same, all right? I didn't, Man, I just found out about some super dope events that would have never known about if I didn't make those connections. Okay, and then of course, like I was saying, through Instagram. Instagram is such a powerful tool that you have to be utilizing, y'all. Make sure you are utilizing it and you're on the lookout always for new conferences and events. And I'm not saying you have to go to every single one. You don't. Pick and choose because they do get expensive. All right, you guys. So now you figured out what events you're going to, right? You know where you're going. You got them lined up. Now you have to figure out your strategy. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to talk from my perspective because it's the best way I can explain how exactly I do what I do, you know. Um, so usually this is what happens. I have some type of idea of who's going to be at this event. I used to go to like random events, but now it's kind of more I'm making sure that I'm getting the bang for my buck and that I'm also going to walk away learning something, right? So nine times out of 10, I know who's going to be there, whether it's panelists, it's speakers, guest speakers, who's the host or whatever. I kind of always go in with an idea of who's going to be in the room. Now this is going to give you an advantage because you have time to study them. You have time to know exactly what they do, why they're there, why they were chosen to speak or whatever, what's their angle, right? So you need to study them and figure out if you get a chance to speak to this person, which is the reason you should be going, because networking, okay? What are you going to say? You have to figure out what similar interests you have with this person. Or, you know, you can say, hey, you know, I like that you, you know, you did this. It really spoke out to me. I learned this from that or whatever. But you don't want to, you don't ever, ever, ever want to go up to somebody and come off as desperate. You don't want to come off as, oh, hey, can I, I saw that you do this. Can you help me do this? No, no. A lot of y'all mess up doing that. You have to present yourself as an asset at all times. At every event you go to, you are an asset. You are an asset. You are an asset. You cannot come up to someone and just talk about what they can do for you. No, you want to always start by what you can offer them, how you can benefit them. Because a lot of y'all got it all wrong and thinking, you know, trying to do business with someone. And the only person that benefits from it is you. That's not how you do business, boo. That's not how you do business. So you have to position yourself and figure out what can I offer this person. This is a two-way street always, especially when you're dealing with people who are more established. They don't have time and they don't have patience to sit and hear how they can help you. What is that going to do for me? Well, you know what I'm saying? You have to figure out when somebody asks you, what do you do? You got to know exactly what to say. How can you help me? How can we work together? You got to know exactly what to say. You cannot just go into this thing with no type of plan. It's, 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 I'm not going to say it's, it'll be a fail, but it's a recipe for disaster. You have to have some type of idea of how you're going to position yourself, who you're going to be talking to, what you're going to talk about, how you're going to approach them, all of that, y'all. If you want it to be a success, especially if you're spending money, and I'm not even going to lie, y'all, my budget for this year networking events alone is 20000 I'm going to make damn sure I get that money back. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make damn sure it's an investment worthwhile. I'm not just going to go in there, no idea who's going to be there, what I'm going to say, or why I'm there, or no. Everything will be strategically planned out. So this is why I wanted to put this video together and help you guys to make sure you're walking in these rooms with a plan of action. And you're walking in these rooms and positioning yourself like an asset. You're walking in these rooms with confidence and you're not coming off as the desperate girl who's just here to try to get what she can out of people. That is not what you want. It's honestly, how a lot of y'all go into these rooms and then you come out with no new contact. You go, you following all these people on Instagram. They haven't followed you back. And you just wasted your time. You probably wasted your money and your gas. Okay, so make sure you guys are utilizing these tips and you're actually thinking about, okay, who's going to be here? Why do I want to talk to them? Why would they want to talk to me? How can my business help them? And how can we figure out a way to collaborate on something? You've got to figure that out. And if you aren't in a position, this is important. If you aren't in a position to where it's going to be beneficial to them, I'm not going to say don't approach them, but introduce yourself. But don't try to plant a seed. 
just make sure they see your face and y'all have a conversation because the next time you want for me i always want people to see me more than once funny story y'all okay so look let me tell y'all so first time i saw karen karen Silva was in la okay i saw her again in houston now we had a talk in la which is why she told me about the talk i mean the brunch in houston so then we had a talk in, in Houston, right? So she's seen me twice now, okay? Listen, we go to New York. Alicia was working the event, so Alicia got me backstage. I'm in the same VIP suite as Karen. I didn't walk up to her. I didn't speak. I just need you to see me. I need you to see that we in the same rooms, okay? I did not speak to her. I was speaking to a lot of other people. It was a lot of dope people in that room. Like Lola. Oh my God. If y'all don't know who Lola is, y'all need to figure out who Lola is. But it was a lot of dope people in that room. So all I needed her to see was me there. That I ain't got to keep coming up to you every time I see you, but we in the same rooms. Right? So then I saw her again, y'all, for the fourth time at the Forbes event. What you think happened? I'm going to let y'all minds wander on that one. But all I'm saying is, it's not always about leeching at that moment. Sometimes you just need to get in the room. You just need them to see you in the room. Introduce yourself. But don't ask for nothing. Do not ask for anything until you can offer someone something that they will benefit from, y'all. That is so important. So important. And you shouldn't even feel comfortable until you can do that. You don't want to be a liability. You want to be an asset to anybody connected to you. It feels so good to know that I am an asset to anybody connected to me. Whether you have a million followers, a million dollars in a bank, it doesn't matter. I have something that I can offer you that you do not have. You need to figure out what's that thing that you have that you can offer somebody that they need that they don't have. Because then it's going to be a two-way street. Listen, it's a lot easier to build relationships when y'all both bring something to the table. It's a no-brainer. You're going to find it less and less hard to negotiate with people, to build relationships, to build connects, to exchange info when you bring something to the table. Okay? So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe. Y'all subscribe. I ain't got to say it. I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to say it. But I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this video, please comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Mwah! I'm a bossy girl, just I ate. What's up? Yes, Boss Bay, shining on them every day. Yes, I'ma make that money every day, get it every day.